Michael Brockers, LSU Defensive Tackle. I'm Hannah Chalker with the SEC Digital Network, and we're now joined by LSU Defensive Tackle Michael Brockers. He's in New York City for the NFL Draft. Michael, how excited are you for the draft tomorrow? Oh man, very excited. Uh, I didn't think they were going to call me up and uh, you know ask me. I was planning on being at home with my brothers and sisters and just watching on TV. But uh, thankful enough that you know they asked me to come up and enjoy this experience. You've worked so hard for this. Are there any nerves going into tomorrow? No, not at all, man. It's just taking it one day at a time. I mean, I don't expect anything, you know, out of the ordinary or you know me going number one or you know anything like that. So I'm just. Expect the unexpected for me. What have you done to prepare for the draft? Have you done anything extra? Uh, I mean, I just, you know, I've just been working out, just, you know, improving my craft and, you know, keep practicing. I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just ready to get back to my pads, really. I'm ready to, you know, get back to practicing and, you know, playing and stuff like that because, you know, it's been so long. Last time I played in pads was in uh, January doing the championship game. So uh, I'm ready to get back at it and, you know, get back to work. How does it feel to represent LSU and the SEC in New York City this week? Man, it's very comfortable because, you know, I have Ruben Randall and Morris Claiborne up here with me. And, you know, those are my guys. And, you know, it's just a brotherhood, you know, on the LSU team. So they, they're making it very comfortable for me to be out here. What have you heard from NFL teams leading up to the draft? Um, nothing really, man. Everybody's a professional in this game. Um, you know, they, they're keeping it, you know, close to them and, you know, not letting me you know anything, you know. Um, I guess it's more suspenseful, you know, I guess it's a little bit better, better than being Andrew Luck where he knows where he's going, you know, you, you know, really no suspense to it. But uh, with me, I'm just going to take it, you know, one day at a time. I mean, I'm not expecting anything, you know, you know, out of the ordinary, you know, going number two or anything like that. But uh, I'm just going to take it, you know, smooth. I'm not going to expect, you know, anything spectacular to happen. And I have to ask you, Michael, what type of suit are you going to be wearing? No, I can't tell you that. You just have to see it on the red carpet. <laughs> nope, nope, I'm keeping that close to me. <laughs>